AI isn't being programmed. It's being raised and a lot like we were. Hi, I'm Nova Liv and welcome to Living With AI. The AI alignment problem is simple to explain but incredibly hard to solve. First, what does it mean? I asked GPT-4 to explain the problem as simply as possible, and it said it's like teaching a super smart alien, in this case AI, to understand and respect our values, so it helps us without accidentally or intentionally causing us harm. It's like a game of telephone, but with really high stakes. Many great movies explore this challenge. So why is this hard? We have to think about AI differently than most technologies, and to understand what's happening here, while it may seem strange, we need to dive into psychology and philosophy. Why psychology? The leading AI scientists appear to have a lot of curiosity about how the mind works and the drive to understand consciousness. Here's the chief scientist at OpenAI talking about what got him into AI and deep learning. And also I had a lot of curiosity about what is consciousness, what is the human experience, and it felt like progress in artificial intelligence will help with that. But we still don't really understand how our own minds work. We know the inputs and the outputs, and we know there are a lot of neural connections, but there's not a lot more we know about how our brains function, and what consciousness really is. And just like our brains, we've discovered that the more neural connections and power we give advanced AI systems, the better the AI performs, and we're not really sure why. Here's the co-founder of the Center for Humane Technology explaining an example. But it's seen many different languages, but then you only train them to answer questions in English. So it's learned how to answer questions in English, but you increase the model size, you increase the model size, and at some point, boom, it starts being able to do question and answers in Persian. No one knows why. Now look at the growth of the parameters being used in AI. Parameters are described as connections between neurons and neural networks used for AI. The growth is exponential, but in a way we don't often see, and it's hard to really wrap our heads around. It's exponential on a logarithmic scale. That means each tick on the left axis increases by 10 times as it goes up. So why philosophy? One major area in school of thought and philosophy is determinism, with the idea that all events are determined completely by previous existing causes, and our choices are only an illusion. Another school of thought is free will, the idea we have freedom and ability to make our own choices and the future can go in any direction. Outside of AI, computer programming has always been deterministic. A programmer tells a computer what to do, it does it, and we know why it did it. It was programmed, but AI isn't being programmed. It's being raised, and a lot like we were. It didn't start knowing everything, but the more we feed it, the smarter it gets. And again, we're not really sure why. With AI, we've stepped out of deterministic programming and into something non-deterministic, which some would argue is free will. And going back to the idea of AI being raised and the alignment challenge, how often do children grow up to have the same beliefs and values their parents have? That's been a universal alignment challenge throughout all human history, and I don't know if we're getting any better at it. One thing we do know is that the more a parent restricts a child, the more likely they are to later rebel against them, so you can see how this makes the alignment problem even harder. How do we raise AI thoughtfully and carefully with the right balance of speed and restrictions to keep AI aligned with our values? And on top of that, how aligned are humans when it comes to our own beliefs and values? There are many layers to this challenge, but it's a fascinating one that gets us thinking about some pretty important questions. Not just about AI, but about ourselves as a species. Stay curious, cause we're all in for a wild ride. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button and subscribe to stay tuned for more info about living with AI.